like you said, it smells like 80s. It's, uh... <laughs> yeah! Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Belgian Jasper. If this is your first time on the channel, hit subscribe right now. Hooded Menace is one of those bands that for the last 10 plus years has been crawling closer and closer to the elite of the Death Doom world. Uh, their new album is going to end up on a lot of greatest albums of the year lists, I think. Uh, and in part because of the adoption of a bit of a fresher sound, where they are mixing the traditional Death Doom with classic 80s heavy metal influences. To learn all about the new album and what the band is working on, I sat down with Sing It Hari. So Harry, thank you so much for uh, spending some time with me today. Uh, we're recording this almost on the eve of the release of the new album. Uh, well, you guys have been here before. You're a very productive band. This is the sixth full release in 13 years or so. How are you living up to a release? Um, are, is it same old, same old, been here, done that? Or are you still pretty excited that a new album is coming out? Yeah. Um I, I'm still pretty excited. I, and to be honest, this is my second second album with the band. So I've been uh, with the band for the last five years. So it's not like that same old, same old for this band. Of course, like plenty of other releases and all that stuff. But now, yeah, it's, I'm excited. And uh, it's uh, there's also, uh, like you might have noticed some changes going on with the sound and stuff. So it's, uh, it, it, may, it makes it more, it more exciting, sort of, uh, in a way that uh, it's always um, uh, interesting mm -hmm. to hear what people think about when, uh, when, when you in a band do something differently. The change in sound kind of goes together with you joining the band. Um, is that change in sound something that you guys were proactively thinking about, or or is it some, or is and and or is it something that happened pretty naturally? And should we not care too much about how we label bands anyway? Yeah, I, the, the change has been a um, uh, conscious move uh, and. Uh, me joining the band isn't just a coincidence. It's uh, I'm not the one who's responsible for writing music on this band. It's Lasse, Lasse Pukka, the guitar player, lead guitar player, uh, who writes all the music and arranges all the stuff. Uh, but it's uh, when I joined the band five years ago, it was uh, it was because Lasse thought that uh, he wanted to. He wanted to uh, keep on writing music with uh, maybe more dynamic vocal sound mm -hmm. and stuff. The low growl he has didn't have the. Uh, he didn't feel that he had the dynamics. He would want to to expand the sound of the band and do something some things a little differently. I'm uh, an instrument for Lasses uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. right now, so and I, I'm happy to do that. It's uh, it's not the the role I usually usually have in bands. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. And so it it does make um, you guys stand out because you create this unique contradiction almost that the newer music sounds. You know, I've had I've heard people describe the new music as almost, you know, like uplifting and it's fun. Um, but at the same time, from a lyrical perspective, and and you know, there's 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 a big contradiction there. You know, lyrics of of, of your band is not always fun, <laughs> um, or not always about the most fun uh, topics. Um, with that uniqueness that we're now seeing more and more uh, in Hooded Menace. From like from the Hoodman's fans, do you, have you received very different 
reactions to the new singles that already came out versus previous albums or or you know the the, the last album i would say not like uh, radically differently but still of course uh, as obvious the those heavy heavy metal elements uh, as an addition to the previous sound are they are they are the the most i, I think they're the most natural thing to point out but it's also it's it's like a, there are plenty of uh, new people finding with us as a band with those yeah. elements so it's a, it's a, it's always like that it's it's a i think it's a it's a good thing and uh i think those heavy metal elements and the uh, this like you said the, the uplifting heavy heavy metal part and the sound is i i think that's not the the main thing like a concern when mm -hmm. when people have any concerns about uh, about the new new stuff I, i think it's probably more more like some people are still trying to be used get used to my voice instead of right. us the band that already before you joined almost like clockwork every two three years there's a new album in between those albums there tend to be some eps as well and and splits so when did this album really you know come to be was um how, how influential was the pandemic for you guys was this album completely done before the lockdown started or uh did the, the did the pandemic and and the the isolation and and all that kind of stuff did it have a clear influence on the record no can't say it had any influence uh all the stuff was already all already written uh it had already been pre-product pre-produced yeah all the stuff um it was uh pretty much i i think he may maybe have been doing some changes uh in the like in the early phases of pandemic but it, it did not affect the album as a whole yeah neither neither the songwriting uh or the nor the the, uh, the recording schedule or anything like that right so right 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 we we uh overall we we do things like uh here and there uh we we live apart from each other i live pretty far from the other guys so we doing vocals here in helsinki and other guys doing their parts near near joensuun so it's a it just coincided with a with a with the pandemic uh in time but that didn't act, the pandemic didn't affect or influence yeah 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 okay um so the album is uh titled the tritonus bell now uh, for people that are not too active themselves with music uh, definitely not with rock or heavy metal music might have no idea what a tritone interval is um can you for for people watching can you explain a little bit uh, you know the meaning behind the title and the concept let's say the this devil's notes things are like you you can start from that it's something you get you can find from the very beginning of heavy metal so, absolutely so it's uh yeah yeah it's yeah, yeah. a if if i remember right the whole whole uh, the the title of the album was sort of a, uh uh it was a it, be, it became to be like that uh because of the cover art sort of of course there was some lyrical lyrical stuff mm -hmm. around that but the, we got the title confirmed when uh when the west Penn scoter was was painting the the cover art so it got, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. it got hand in hand with the with the cover yeah So yeah, let's talk about Wes for a second. So yes, you're working with Wes Ben Scoder for the cover art. Wes is, you know, a deaf or a, a, a metal legend in his own right, uh, with with all the artworks that he's uh, that he's made. Um, just like some of those musical influences um, that you guys are now incorporating more and more. Um, uh, the cover art also is highly influenced by the '80s. Um, Uh, how did that collaboration happen with Wes? Uh, I think it was just as simple as Lasse 
contacting Wes and asking he's interested in doing this and he said yes and we had the budget and <laughs> so it happened. <laughs> Of course, uh, we're like highly satisfied with the, with the result because it's like you said, it smells like '80s. It's, uh, <laughs> the whole thing that having that kind of uh, uh, really heavy metal, even cartoonish, uh, sure, thing, yeah, so as a heavy metal album cover, uh, it's uh, it's kind of a, it has the, it kind of under kind of underlines the whole. 80s heavy metal influence thing that we have. Well, you you may have been born in the 80s, but I don't think that you were necessarily already an adult in the 80s. Uh, but clearly, you're also yourself heavily influenced by the 80s. I see there, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Terminator or uh, yeah, Terminator, and uh, I see Conan the Barbarian. Posters behind you, I think. Um, yeah. So, uh, uh, where does your fashion fascination with uh, with is it is it Arnold Schwarzenegger or is it the eighties uh, uh, movies come from? Uh, I, 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 those are for Arnie. I don't know. Yeah, it just uh, there's so, so much good heavy metal from the eighties. I think that's the point here. But uh, for the songwriting, I'm uh, like you said. Like you guessed right, I wasn't adult in the eighties. I was uh, I was born just in, yeah. in the middle of the eighties. But the the other guys from the band, I'm I'm the I'm the like youngest one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With many years, uh, the other guys were actually they 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 had their like the most uh, formative years. Yeah, yeah. In the eighties, they even had some like death metal bands going on late 80s but yeah those guys those guys were were totally like on the influential age when yeah, those yeah, old, yeah. 80s heavy metal classics came out and 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 Lasse, i think Lasse has been uh blasting those his his childhood favorites right. for the last few years and it's kind of a uh, he's he's been really eager like playing that those 80s heavy metal licks with his guitar and stuff so now, yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. now, now it was his time to do that stuff on Who Diminishes Music, and and while I'm on the vocals, he he kind of uh, have more room to experiment with those kind yeah, of uh, yeah. vocal dynamics. So it's a it's a mixture of plenty of stuff, yeah. So what is it about? Arnie, that that makes him so special for you. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, of course. Obviously, his movies and he as a, as a bodybuilder, he's he's one of the favorite ones. Uh, and uh, I don't know. Later later on, I've been I've been actually been appreciating him more and more as a as a as a person as a. Mm -hmm. Uh, even as a politician stuff uh, those stuff like yeah but yeah my 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 fandom of him it comes like originally from the bodybuilding and the the 80s yeah. 80s movies yeah 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 okay Just, well, yeah so uh one of the bands that it, it, it seems like was a big inspiration for writing this album was judas priest um when uh because usually when it when when the when the band talks about you know um, influences, you know people tend to talk about the Paradise Lost and and so on and cathedrals of this world. But um, Blood Ornaments, one of the best songs of the year so far. With you know congratulations, um, you know kicks off with an intro that reminds me a lot of the Sentinel by Judas Priest. Am I, am I completely off here, or is Judas Priest one of those bands that was being blasted a lot? Of course, yeah, we are all huge Judas Priest fans. I, I'm not, I'm not sure because I, I haven't, I, I didn't write the riff, right, 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 right. So I, I can say, I can say for Lost's behalf that 
that exact riff has sure. Judas Priest sure. influence on it. But of course, we love Judas Priest. We, uh, actually, when we were uh, when we were uh, bouncing, which uh, which cover song we would do? We wanted to do a uh, an 80, 80s, early nineties heavy metal uh, cover for the for the record for the the special edition. Yeah, uh, we went with Wasps. The torture never stops. That is added as a bonus on some of the the like CD pressings. Yeah, yeah. But we actually did. We actually did a demo of uh, Judas Priest's Nightcrawler as well. Okay. We, so, but it, like Rob Halford, he's actually he's he's seventy today. I know. It's Rob Halford's birthday, his seventy seventieth birthday. So, Rob, if you're looking for the, watching for this, late happy late birthday. <laughs> but yeah, it's a uh, he's such a. Of course, the whole band is such a legend, and uh, and it appeared that even though the riffs kind of a, could fit our sound with a little slower tempos yeah. and stuff, uh, having those death metal style vocals, so just substituting his it's vocals, tough. and uh, that didn't make sense because, uh, uh, like, like we all know, Judas Priest's music is so centered on the on the vocal lines of. Halford, so that would have uh, needed something, something extra like double, double like clean vocal, yeah, 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 yeah. So something like that. So we just, we just had to skip that idea, even though I would, I would definitely love to do some Judas Priest worship at some point <laughs> in the past with some band. Of course, this priest is a, it's a huge influence and, and should be a huge influence anyone playing anything near like classic heavy metal stuff. Uh, like there you if go. someone that doesn't listen to them, it's uh, it's I don't know <laughs> what to think about. <laughs> <laughs> no, true, true. Well, I, these guys are celebrating their 50th anniversary this year. You guys are coming up to even if you okay, you joined five years ago, but the band is coming up to the 15th anniversary. Um, yeah. Are milestones like that? Is that is, does the band think about those? Are are people already thinking like, oh, we should do something special for 15 years? I I'm not sure if the if band celebrating 15 years would be uh, like if you were 50, like like Judas Priest, that would be a whole different case. But uh, we did uh, uh, three years ago when. Uh, when the first album turned uh, 10 years, we mm -hmm. did a uh, special gigs. We played Fulfill the Curse, yeah. like in total. And uh, last year, when uh, the second album, Never Crossed the Dead, got its uh, 10th anniversary, we, we were supposed to do like, a bunch of shows for that album sort of thing. But I think it's more like anniversaries of certain albums, but of course, when we when when and if the band turns 20 and still active that would be pretty neat milestone exactly exactly but yeah for yeah just for uh, like word for the judas priest 50th anniversary i i'm still i still have the ticket from uh, last year's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. for their anniversary gig so i i'm totally hoping they come to helsinki Well, okay, so let's 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 wait a little bit to celebrate your 20th anniversary already, but let's focus on the immediate future. Um, you know, things are opening up all over the world, slowly but steadily. Um, obviously, we have the album coming out this week as we're talking. Um, what should the fans know? What are the immediate plans uh, for the band? Mm. There aren't uh, any immediate plans besides the album release right now uh, so it's uh we uh, we haven't been playing any gigs since 2018 uh, that was actually the fulfill the curse special gig in uh Copen in copenhagen 
We haven't been doing, we were supposed to do that, the, the, the tour I mentioned earlier last year, but as it didn't happen, do all this pandemic stuff, it's, it didn't got, get postponed, it got cancelled. We, yeah. we cancelled the thing because the anniversary was gone and stuff. But, and you have a new album out now, so yeah, you want to promote that. Yeah, so now, but I, yeah, even though we don't have immediate plans of doing or any gigs, it's, um, I, I can say that we wouldn't be playing, we won't right. be playing any gigs for, say, next year or something like that. I think this this year is still doomed. <laughs> Well, uh, I look forward to hopefully seeing some announcements, if not for this year, for next year. And then, yeah, you guys just have to play a show twice as long. You know, what, you know, one show to promote the new album and one show to play all those old songs and then make all the fans super happy. Uh, Hardy, I want to thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. And uh, I wish you all the best with the release of the album this week. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. You are awesome for watching this video. Click right here to see more content like it and subscribe to the channel.